Hey guys, it's Bailey. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be a tips and tricks video on how I sell clothes on Instagram. So some of you may know, some of you probably don't, that I have an Instagram account where I resell thrifted items or just items from my closet. Last summer, I was able to make enough money to buy myself a laptop for school, which was super awesome. I didn't have a job over the summer. I literally just sold clothes to this Instagram account. And the username is Fly by Thrifts if you want to go check it out. So that means that I made over a thousand dollars from doing this. So today I hope that I can show you how you guys can also do that. So let's just get into the video. The So the first thing that I'm going to be talking about is just how to get your Instagram started. That's honestly probably one of the hardest parts. So the first thing you're going to need, obviously, is the username. A lot of people have asked me, like, how I came up with my username, blah, blah, blah. But I literally just came to me. The name doesn't really matter. Just making it something unique and maybe that people will remember. So then, obviously, the next step is buying clothes to sell or picking it out. The clothes from your closet that you don't want anymore or whatever. One of the things I would say for knowing what sells is look on other people's accounts and look what has sold for them. Or just upload a bunch of items and you're probably going to sell at least one of them. Okay guys, so in this video, I didn't touch much on any thrifting tips or how to find clothes that will sell on Instagram. But if you want a video about that, I definitely will. But I found all my clothes at Goodwill or a Goodwill outlet. I also went garage selling a lot over the summer. And the next thing is you want to get really good pictures of your items. You can honestly do this from your phone. Like in the mirror, just make sure you have good lighting. And a filter can go a long way with photos. So just put a nice filter on it, make it look nice. Over the summer, I took a lot of my pictures on my Canon G7X, so that has really good quality. Like, really show the items and be really descriptive in your caption. Like, I'll show you an example of, like, one of my captions. I normally put, like, what it is, the size, condition, then the starting bid, and then the buy it now, which I'll explain what that is. So, like, the starting bid is what you want the bid to start at. It's kind of self-explanatory. So, you can do, like, $3 plus $7 shipping. And what I found is if you make the starting bid, like, lower, like, more people are obviously gonna bid because it's cheaper. If you get like two people interested in an item, like they will just go back and forth and the price will rise and it, eventually you'll have like a pretty decent price, especially if you have more and more people that are interested in an item and bidding. And the buy it now is someone can comment bin at any time and that item will be theirs. Like, so I normally make that one with free shipping. So like $40 plus free shipping if you buy it now. Like if there's a lot of people bidding on an item, they really want that item because a lot of items like can be unique because you thrift them, like they're not gonna find them anywhere else. Like someone will, if they really want it, then they'll just comment, buy it now. And that's really awesome when that happens because you're making a decent amount of money and it's just a quick sale. Now let's talk about gaining followers. So one thing that I did was I didn't start posting on the account until I got 250 followers. So I'm like, if I only have like 11 followers, no one's gonna be there to like bid on my items that I post. So maybe think about doing something like that and like post like sneak peeks of items, get people excited, wanting to follow your page, do shout out for shout out with other accounts. And then once you actually start your account, how you gain followers is just be active, post all the time. Like over the summer, I was probably posting like close to every day, every other day, I was posting new items. And that's when I was most successful over the summer. So I did a couple giveaways over the summer and I think that really, really helped me gain followers, gain buyers. So, and it doesn't even have to be anything really big. Like I'm pretty sure I've spent like $50 around on the first giveaway. You can literally just give away like $20 Starbucks card, like something like that. Like once you make some money, then you can put it back into your business and eventually you'll get more and more sales from doing that so i definitely recommend doing a giveaway you can collab with other accounts and have a giveaway i would gain like thousands of followers just from the giveaway another thing that really helps i don't know if you have to do this especially when you're just getting started go on other successful bigger thrift pages look at the people who bid on their items and follow them spam them with likes because those are people that are looking for thrifted items who are actually buying from other people. So you're gonna try to like draw them into your account, get them to follow you. A lot of the times they will follow you, maybe not even bid on one of your items. That's super awesome. So literally just go through the comments, 
follow or even just spam them with likes if you don't want to follow them like one picture it might still help they'll see your account click on it and maybe they'll find something that they like okay so i forgot to talk about payment and how you get paid through doing this and i recommend having venmo cash app and paypal just so everyone that is interested in buying your items is able to because you have I mean, everyone probably at least has one of those three things. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to be talking about is shipping, which can be really confusing for some people, especially if you've never had experience shipping stuff before. I have been selling stuff online forever now through Poshmark, Mercari, and now Instagram. So this is what I found to be the best freaking way to ship stuff cheap and make the most profit because you want cheap shipping. So on Instagram, what's nice is you don't have to lose money to the app. You don't have to lose money for like overpriced shipping that you're paying to the app. Whatever you don't spend on shipping goes directly to you, which is super awesome. The service that I use to ship everything is Pirate Ship, which is so awesome. Like I can't recommend it enough. I'll show a little tutorial of how to use Pirate Ship probably in this video. I'll insert it. So first you just press create a shipping label and it's really self-explanatory. You put in all the shipping information. If you're a poly mailer, then you're gonna change it to that. And then you add the length, the width, and then you also add in the amount of pounds and ounces. And the prices on Pirate Ship are super awesome. Like as you can see here, it was only $2 to ship this one. Once you press get rates and select your shipping label, you will just press download label and print it off and then you'll get the tracking number immediately and then you just print out the shipping label put it on your package and drop it off at a usps box or at a usps post office so the packaging that i use normally is this i've had other packaging but i literally just ordered it off amazon it's like 12 dollars or something like that or maybe even cheaper for a pack of 100 that's what i use if an item can ship for like two three dollars or less than eight dollars if an item says that it's over eight dollars or like ten dollars to ship and it will fit in one of these bags which are free you can order them from the usps website and they will come straight to your door but anything you can fit in here ships for only eight dollars like a flat rate of eight dollars so i'd have to recommend this for bigger things like shoes heavy jacket. If it doesn't fit in that, then you can get boxes from the USPS store for free, or you can literally just find any box and put the shipping label on it. So definitely use Pirate Ship, but if you're like, how do I weigh my item? You can literally just Google like average weight of a shirt of shoes, and it normally is pretty accurate. But if you want to be precise, then I recommend getting one of these little like weigher things. My grandpa just had this at his house and he just gave it to me so i don't know where you can purchase this i'll try to look it up and insert it but it's really nice to just set the item on top and it tells you how much it weighs and then you'll know exactly what to put into pirate ship and then for the length and width i you literally just need a ruler or like one of these things this is also super helpful for your photos to take pictures of your item beside this so people will know if it's gonna fit them what the exact measurements especially with jeans and stuff they'll feel more confident purchasing it if they know like the exact dimensions and that it's gonna fit them also i recommend getting a tape gun um this is super helpful because i know the usps closest to me charges to use their tape don't know why so having your own is definitely helpful especially because you can literally just tape it and then plop it in the usps box and head on your way don't even gotta worry about anything okay guys so i hope that i touched on everything i think i did but if i don't i'll pop in and add a few more things here and there but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know if you guys start a thrift page or try selling clothes on instagram because i'll definitely follow you maybe even give you a shout out on my page i hope you guys have an amazing day and i will see you guys in my next video bye